So, hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. As you know, I absolutely love coffee. I drink quite a lot of coffee, and we really enjoy coffee when we go out and about around Castello Branco. But I also try to make a really nice coffee inside the house as well. I use this mocha pot, which is a really good way of making coffee. Uh, fill it up with water, put the coffee in, and I think the term is it percolates up into the top section. And we can pour ourselves a cup of coffee. Very nice indeed. So very excitingly, is that a word, excitingly? Yeah. Yeah. So very excitingly, uh, Conquecho, I think it's pronounced, have sent us a coffee machine that we can try out. I think they must have heard that I absolutely love coffee. So we're gonna give it a try and see how the coffee is. So let's give this one a go. This is the Conquecho portable coffee machine. USB powered, so uses a very small amount of electricity, which is perfect for us, and we can take it on trips with us as well. So this is the Conquecho coffee on the go, portable coffee maker. Let's open it up and have a look. So it looks like a really nice, uh, a nice portable coffee machine, nice size. Also comes with a manual or pro operating manual so we can work out how to do it and the USB charging cable as well. It's a very smart machine. It's got a clear section on the, on the bottom here. Uh, nice on off switches, very tactile. A section on the top which looks as though it undoes. So the thing that I like about this portable coffee machine over other portable coffee machines is that you can put cold water into it and hot coffee comes out. It's gonna be some editing as well. Morning everyone. So, it's, um, I haven't woken up yet. <laughs> it's um, about quarter early to- Early o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> early in the morning, yeah. Um, so our job today is to get up on the roof and put in these roofing um, screws. They're about 120 mil long. Um, we're gonna put them straight through the highest part of the roofing and into the rafters. Um, probably about 50 or 60 of these need to go in and uh, I'm climbing up the roof to do it. Oh yeah, and we've got these little hats as well to put on the tops of the screws to make them look very neat and tidy. So, that'd be lovely. Because this is the job we did yesterday. So with help of friends, we stripped off all the plastic that covers the red roof and then panel by panel we lifted them up onto the rafters that are screwed in and now we're screwing these into the rafters. Reminds me of a of a drifter's song. I'm not going to sing it. But don't worry. But yeah, up on the roof. That's all done now. As far as I can tell, that's all of the all of the 12 centimeter, 120 millimeter bolts are in now. Um, 
They've all got their little hats on as well, so all looking really, really good. So, all in all, a really good morning's work up the land. Uh, we managed to get the roof on, at least um, secure and onto the rafters. Uh, yeah, as I've said many times, quite large, um, quite large screws going in. Uh, pretty cool. So now we're going to have our breakfast and uh, try out this little Conquecho coffee machine. See how that works. So I've had a look at the instructions on the Conquecho. It's looking pretty straightforward, to be honest. Uses these little pods. Um, we've purchased some ex espresso ones, which kind of seems to go quite well with the machine. Um, we have this little top piece here, which comes off. The water goes into there. Absolutely brilliant. This is our collecting cup, which collects our coffee. And then in the bottom here is where the pod goes. Quite a nice design, really. Well, that worked a treat. I can smell the coffee, it smells really nice. Um, it took about four minutes to get the coffee through the machine. Very simple operation. Yeah, just put the water in the top and it goes through the pod. And at the bottom of that, you have a really nice coffee, or what looks like a really nice coffee, with a nice little crema on the top as well. To a certain degree, it does depend on the little pod that you buy because it's the coffee that you're getting through the machine. Let's have a look. Okay, so perfect size for my little cup as well. So that's really nice. So not a bad try actually. Yeah, that's an espresso. For me, I need a little bit of sugar in there or a little bit of honey. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a go. This machine also does like a cold press coffee as well. Um, so you can just get cold coffee through it. I think Elaine's uh, said that she quite fancies uh, giving that a try. Let's give that a try. So the only downside that I can see about this machine at the moment, or machines like this, is that they use these coffee pods. Um, and for me, that's just another thing that needs to go into, into landfill, um, which is why we use our mocha pots, because it's just coffee grounds, which can then go into the, uh, you know, into the garden beds. But having said that, for coffee on the go, which is exactly what this is, now and again, taking it with you on your trips and things like that, um, it's a it's a perfect solution. Yeah, it just, you know, easy. You haven't got to clean out loads of coffee grounds out of the machine or anything like that. So for that system, this is, yeah, probably the perfect way of going. So I think we'll bring that video to an end. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much also to Conquecho for the coffee machine. Really nice. This is Elaine's iced coffee. Really nice. And we will catch you on the next one. And it'll filter that cold water, make it warm. How are we going to say that? So the thing I like particularly, I'll start again. It'll heat the water up and give you, what did you say? <laughs> I'll start again. <laughs> it's bloody capsules. No. So the thing that I like about this portable coffee machine over other portable coffee machines is that you can put cold water into it and hot coffee comes out.